welcome back to Talk With Naya. So we have to talk about Rihanna's Super Bowl performance, okay? Now, let's just back up a little bit now. Rihanna is without a doubt one of the most talented artists in the world, but she hasn't performed solo for seven years. Riri has been MIA from the music industry for most of that time and, you know, most of her hiatus. And she hasn't released a new album since Anti back in January of 2016. Now, in 2017, she did collaborate with Kendrick Lamar on Loyalty and with DJ Khaled on Wild Thoughts. And her last live performance was at the 2018 Grammy Awards. Now, Rihanna has been working on projects away from music during her hiatus, and she launched her Fenty Beauty line in 2017, which promoted diversity for all women of all shades and sizes in beauty and fashion. Then in 2018, she debuted her lingerie brand, Savage X Fenty, which she promoted during New York Fashion Week in 2019. Then she got Fenty Skin, which is her skincare brand, and that was launched in 2020. And the following year, Forbes announced that Rihanna was the world's richest female musician with a $1.7 billion fortune at that time it was reported. Now, Rihanna actually turned down the opportunity to do the Super Bowl halftime show in 2019. She wanted to support Colin Kaepernick, which was the former San Francisco 49ers quarterback who was dropped from the NFL for protesting social injustice by kneeling during the national anthem. Explaining her decision to take a stand, Rihanna told Vogue, I couldn't dare do that. Who gains from that? Not my people. I just couldn't be a sellout. I couldn't be an enabler. There's things within that organization that I do not agree with at all. And I was not about to go and be of service to them in any way. But in September of 2022, it was announced that Rihanna would be headlining the Super Bowl halftime show February 2023. Now, what made her want to perform, especially after this long hiatus and after having her first child with ASAP Rocky? Rihanna said becoming a parent inspired her to sign up to perform at the Super Bowl as she needed a challenge to push her to get back on stage. Listen to this. Become a mom, there's something that just happens where you feel like you could take on the world, you can do anything, and the Super Bowl is one of the biggest stages in the world. So as scary as that was, because I haven't been on stage in seven years, mm -hmm. there's something exhilarating about the challenge of it all. And it's important for, for me to do this this year. It's important for representation. It's important for my son to see that. Now, Rihanna took over the halftime performance this year and stunned us all with her baby bump. Okay, Rihanna had another baby trending on Twitter and actually caused Twitter to crash during her performance. Chris Brown even went to Instagram and said, go girl with the heart emoji and praying hands. Okay, were you all surprised to see Riri pregnant on stage? I sure was. Now, Rihanna did an amazing job with her halftime show performance and performed a ton of her hit songs. She opened with Bitch Better Have My Money and closed out with Diamonds. But she also performed Umbrella, Work, Where Have You Been, We Found Love, Only Girl, Rude Boy, Wild Thoughts, Birthday Cake, and All of the Lights, honey. Now, I know a lot of people were saying that they did not want Rihanna to perform Lift Me Up, okay, which was her latest song she put out for the um, Wakanda soundtrack and she did not perform that song so clearly she is listening to the social media streets okay i really love the set list of her performance because remember she did an interview and shared that there was over 30 versions of her set list that she had to pick from to make sure the super bowl performance was right listen to this part um that list was the biggest challenge that was the hardest hardest part um deciding how to maximize 13 minutes but also celebrate it, it, that's what this show is going to be it's going to be a celebration of my catalog in in the best way that we could have put it together and you only have 13 minutes that's the challenge so you're trying to cram 17 years of work into 13 <laughs> minutes so it's it's difficult but we you know some songs we have to lose because of that and 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 that's going to be okay but i think we did a pretty good job at narrowing it down 
Now, during her performance, she wore a full red outfit that definitely showed off her baby bump, okay? She had that bump out there. It was without question that Riri was pregnant, even though we were all still wondering, like, is she really pregnant or is this just postpartum weight? But no, I, she's pregnant, okay? Now, Rihanna also had a cute slick back pony. I believe it was a fishtail braid or a regular braid, but it was very cute. And I think she looked amazing. She had a ton of backup dancers and popped out some moves herself throughout the show. And she was elevated so high in the air. I was so nervous for her because they clearly had to keep that thing level, okay? And her mic was on, all right? Now, when she performed Run This Town, I really thought Jay-Z was going to come out, especially because Jay-Z was at the Super Bowl with Blue Ivy. I didn't think Kanye was going to come out with all that he got going on. But I was like, is Jay-Z coming out? I don't know, but he did not. However, you know, Rihanna didn't bring anyone out. And I'm actually kind of glad that she didn't. And she performed her hits and enjoyed this moment. All right. Now, of course, Rihanna also took some time to promote Fenty Beauty during her performance. Did y'all see that little spot, that little piece of her performance? Now, we did speak about Rihanna showing off her baby bump during her performance. And some fans weren't too excited about that. Okay. They basically said, okay, Ace that Rocky was shooting her club up again. And now she definitely is not going to have an album anytime soon. So some fans, of course, were excited to see it. And some fans were like, dang, she's not coming out with any music because she's having baby number two. So how do y'all feel about that? What did you think about her performance? Comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.